Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a different type of playstyle today. Today we're going to be taking a little bit of a stroll through the alleyways of obsession with my sim here. Her name's Olivia. She lives in, well quite a, she lives in quite a cute house in Del Sol Valley and Olivia's developed a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with a particular famous sim. We took ourselves to the cinema a few years ago and found ourselves enchanted by this majestic beacon of beauty, also known as Judith Ward. So we worked three jobs in our hometown, saved up enough money for a bus ticket and a deposit for a house, got quite a lot of money left over actually, and decided to move to Del Sol Valley so that we could see if we could go and face the love of our life. Introduce ourselves to Judith and see if she could love us, or maybe learn to love us. Unlike most of my videos, I'm not really trying to answer any deep questions or prove any point. I just want to see what life would be like if we played as a stalker, really. See how far we get. Judith Ward is, after all, a global superstar. She doesn't typically have time for nobodies like us, but I think we can convince her to change her mind. I think maybe we can convince her that really, deep down, she needs us just as much as we need her. So, for today's video I have, well, a couple of objectives really. The ultimate goal is to either um, make Judith Ward absolutely terrified of us and never want to speak to us again, or build some kind of positive relationship with Judith. I mean, even getting her to engage us in conversation would be a bit of a dream come true. Actually, as I'm explaining this video, I'm starting to realise perhaps I should have installed my, um... Life Tragedies mod, we could have kidnapped her. Maybe I need to make this a two-parter. Maybe the goal for this video would be getting to Ju would be getting Judith Ward to acknowledge our existence and then part two, balls to the wall, we'll just kidnap her and do, do it old Greg style. Actually, you know what? I think um, having money in our account was uh, a bit of an oversight actually. Fuck off, Welcome Wagon, unless you've got Judith with you, with you which I'm sure you don't because I don't live in the hills. No, it's just John. Nobody. Nobody junk. Yeah, in hindsight, it was a bit of an oversight leaving this much money because um, I did a quick mother load to furnish this place. But actually, I do have a couple of money goals in my notes. So I'm actually going to put our money back down to zero. There are a few things that I would like to do today. Starting off with, how about we head out? We might even see Judith. Who knows? I want to try and collect some photographs of her, so we're just going to be sort of touring round Del Sol Valley on the off chance we might bump into her and we could take some pictures to put up in our house. It looks like Judith Ward is home, so maybe let's just... I would like to take a picture of her house anyway. I can't knock on the door because it's a celebrity home, but we can take a few photos outside. Yeah, no Judith, just Agnes, who is in a group with me for some reason. Okay, let's go stand over there so we can get a good picture of Judith's house. Yeah, so some of the goals I have um, involve sort of following her around town, just general stalking, trying to take pictures as and, as and when I can. We do have um, a few skill levels in writing, so um, I'd quite like to maybe write her a love letter, like fan mail. Oh, look at that house. I can't zoom out any further, so I'm just going to have to settle for this. Hideous house, but we think it's beautiful. Ugh, annoying, I can't zoom out further. What if I go back even further? Yeah, so we'll send her a love letter. Maybe see if we can go through her trash. We'll attempt introduction, see if we can talk to her. Yeah, still can't fit it in, but that's that'll do. We've got more of the house in this one. I think it would also be a good idea to maybe enter the acting career, um, just to see if perchance we bump into her on set. We could trick her into thinking that we're a colleague. Can we rummage through? Oh, no trash to rummage. Can I go through her mail? Oh, yes. Snoop through her mail. Yeah, if we can't convince her to be our friend while we're out in public, then maybe she'll be a bit more open to it if we're a work colleague. And I think we should also go, like, what's the name of that film? Single White Female? It's quite an old film where someone basically, like, turns themselves into a clone. I think we should go down that route. That's where the money challenge comes in. We're going to save up some money to go to a hairstylist, get our hair done like Judith, and then also see if we can buy the same outfit as her. I put together a few basic numbers. I think the hairstyle's pretty cheap for just a hundred simoleons. Oh, no secrets. Damn, we'll check again tomorrow. Maybe let's just go somewhere in Del Sol Valley and see if we bump into her. How about the... 
the hottest spot in town. She might be outside. Yes, yeah, about 100 simoleons to get our hair done and about 3,000 for the outfit because, you know, it's probably designer, isn't it? Okay, no sign of Judith yet, but that's okay. That's fine. I may as well take this opportunity to sign up to the acting career. I just need one gig so I can introduce myself, unless I bump into her in town. Actress, there we go. Wonder what happens if we go for AI staffing agency. Oh, paparazzi's here. That means a celebrity's gonna turn up soon. Right, let's check for some gigs. Oh, it's just fucking Thorn Bailey. No one interesting. Let's just do um, Salty Suds. Our audition starts on Monday. We just need Charisma Level 2. I kind of need to work on my Charisma anyway. Maybe I'll chat to that pap and see if they know anything about Judith Ward. I'm pretty sure there's not um, an option for me to ask him about Judith because I haven't actually met her yet. <sighs> no sign of Judith. Not one single sign. Olivia, just edge back. Try and sneak into that photo with Thorn. She's right here. Okay, okay, be cool, be cool. Attempt introduction. Olivia, get your ass over there. I can't believe she's here, she turned up. Is she coming to us? Okay, just be cool, be cool. Don't get your tits in a twist. Oh wait, no, it's been crossed off. Why, where's she gone? Is she still here? She's by the door, hopefully she doesn't go inside. Oh no, she's just walked inside. We might have just missed her. Oh shit, we had our chance. Ask for selfie? I don't think we're, we're not going to be able to get in, are we? Oh no. Oh no. We fucked it. We absolutely just missed our chance. Can we sneak in? Quickly, try and sneak in while the door's open. Ah. Oh. Well, at least we managed to sneak a glimpse of her in person. That's the closest we've ever been to Judith Ward. So I think we're going to be sleeping well tonight. All right. Well, Judith is in now. So I think let's just head home. We missed our chance. But maybe, I mean, we can try and get our charisma skill, though. Maybe we'll see her on set. I haven't even introduced myself to her. Which means I probably can't write a love note to her, can I? Write love email. Oh, no option to write one for Judith Ward. <sighs> okay, let's just practice speech. Okay, we've acquired the charisma skill. All we need is charisma level two, so pretty easy. How are your needs? Oh, you're okay. You just need to take a shit. Okay. Maybe we'll have a nice bubble bath. Oh, level two of the charisma skill. Perfect. Okay. Take take your shit. You've earned it. Uh, maybe just turn off this stereo. Don't really want to be using electricity, seeing as we're pretty broke as shit. Uh, we can't really afford anything, so let's just grab some chips for dinner. In fact, you know what? Treat yourself. Grab two. And then I think maybe what we could do this evening is we could watch a movie starring Judith Ward. She'd be in Roaring Vice, wouldn't she? That's a classy movie for a classy girl. She's got that timeless Hollywood look. Right, Olivia, you enjoy your movie and then we'll go to bed. Yes. I'll immediately put her into a flirty mood. That's right, she's seen her girl and now she's horny. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. Let's turn in for the night. We do have Judith's face on our top, but it's only a pajama top, so it's not like we're crazy. Right, let's double check. 7 p.m. is our audition. Okay. Maybe we could go through Judith's mail again tomorrow. Maybe we could bump into her. That would be nice. Then finally we could send her a love letter. We are in a very happy mood today. We had a dream that we got in the bath right after Judith came out. So, you know, big smile on our face today. All right, Olivia. Well, how are your needs? Maybe we'll just grab some cereal and then we'll head out. I think also we should probably get dressed. I don't want to freak Judith out, you know, first time we meet her. I think we should try and play it somewhat cool and maybe shave those legs as well. Shave leg hair and then change into every day. All right, let's head out. Let's go to Judith's and see if we can go through her bin, read through her mail. I want to go to Judith's house every day. Okay, can I rummage now? Ah, oh, still no trash to rummage through. Fine, we'll just snoop through her mail. Hopefully we uncover a secret about Judith. Something we could blackmail against her in exchange for her love. Keep searching, see if there's a lock of her hair in there. Any luck? No secrets here. Oh, Judith, Judith, you cover up your tracks. What if I eavesdrop? <gasps> Wait, oh my god, I could break into her house. Oh my god, of course, start a break-in. I'm gonna go into her house. I'm gonna get in her bed. <laughs> I'm gonna take a selfie in her bedroom. Okay, break in. Break in, be sneaky. Go on, girl, you can do it, get in there. Oh no, try again, try again. We don't have long. We only have 
almost five out almost three hours yes oh look at this okay let's just smell everything okay quickly go here she's happy exclusive access wow not just anybody allowed is allowed inside this place olivia feels incredibly special right take a selfie this is us in judith's living room and i might just take a photo of her living room oh no this isn't a good angle oh yeah that's better photo of judith's living room perfect that's one for the scrapbook isn't it all right which one do we think is her bedroom it's gonna be this one isn't it can i try on her clothes <gasps> try on her outfits oh it's so quiet in here all right go into her closet we're gonna feel like judith ward oh that must be from one of her movies one of her alien movies or something her workout clothes hopefully there's some sweat in there still left over okay i think let's just go relax in her bed and then i think we should snoop snoop in her bed as well that's where all of the real damning secrets are inside the bed Oh, did you find something? Is that her little black list? How long do I have left? Just over an hour. Okay, I'm going to relax in her bed again, and then I'm going to shit in her toilet. And just to freak her out, we're not even going to flush. Leave something behind for her so she knows that someone's been here. <gasps> We've discovered that Judith has a secret. My funds magically rose, bud. Listen, I don't know where those extra simoleons came from. It felt like it happened in an instant. One day I checked my account and saw all my funds were normal as expected. A few hours later, I'd randomly acquired thousands of simoleons out of nowhere. It must have been an accounting error or something. I swear I didn't steal them. I was so nervous, I panicked and I spent it all on a bunch of new furniture to hide the evidence. If anyone finds out, they'll assume I'm a thief. Oh, you are a thief, Judith. You're a thief of my... You're a thief of my heart. Okay, quickly, use the bathroom. And then I think we'd better go. I don't want to go. I want to stay here all day. But I feel like even though staying would be a way to meet Judith, um, I, I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. I want to manipulate her. So I think we'd better just quickly, quickly go home. Stop the break-in and go home. Yeah, we have to. I don't want to, but we have to. Oh my God, what an exhilarating day. Are you going to go chat rooms? Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can do that. Olivia has a... She runs a blog. The Judith Ward Appreciation Society blog. We just write about Judith all day. Every single appearance she's made on every single talk show. We buy every single magazine every single day just on the off chance that she appears in them so we can cut her out and stick her on our collage. You can't see our collage, though. It's part of the shrine and... uh Olivia told me that she likes to keep her shrine very private, so we're actually not allowed to see that, unfortunately. Shit, I just realised we're going to get bills today. Oh well, we don't need power. Okay, good luck at your audition, Olivia. You kind of have to smash it, otherwise we're never going to see Judith's on set. Audition failed? Why? You didn't get the role. The casting director didn't say if it was because of your line reading or because the fistful of mints you took from the check-in desk. But we did have the skills we needed. For fuck's sake, fine, practice acting. What a load of bullshit, man. Let's just get another let's get another gig lined up. Pharmaceuticals. Okay, so I'm thinking let's go to Judith's house again today. Go through her mail. Maybe she'll have some trash for us. Maybe we'll finally get to meet her. Even just to attempt introduction. Oh, that reminds me, I'll put up that picture of Judith's house. And the pictures of us inside the house. If she ever comes over, she's going to be absolutely terrified. All right, let's head up to the hills. Oh, she's home. Okay. Again, the only option I have is to snoop. God damn, why isn't she outside? Come on, Judith, why are you playing hard to get? Not even on her balcony. Let's go and eavesdrop by her door again. We would have found a secret here, but all of the relevant secrets have been found. Anything in the windows? Any movement? Right, I think let's just hang around outside of her house and see if she wanders out anywhere. I should have brought a tent or a sleeping bag. A few people have turned up, which makes me wonder if, like, Judith is due to leave at some point. Maybe everyone's turned up to catch a glimpse. Oh, still no sign of Judith. Okay, I'm going to go home and work on our acting skills so we can pass an audition so that we can go to the studio. Okay, it's audition day again. We have our audition at nine. So we're just going to have a quick bowl of cereal. Hopefully we pass our audition. Also, we kind of need some money so we can start giving ourselves a bit of a makeover. A Judith Ward makeover. 
Okay, good luck at your audition. You should pass this time. I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. Um, well, I'm at an audition right now, but maybe when I'm done. Could be my girl, Judith. Audition passed! Okay. About fucking time. Okay, research playful emotion. Let's go and take a bubble bath. And then we'll head over to Orchid A Go Go. We'll do some funny interactions and then maybe we'll work on doing... We'll tell a few jokes. Okay, I think all I have to do... Let's just do a funny introduction. I don't see Judith Ward anywhere. But maybe we'll come and tell a few jokes because really we might get some tips and we could really do with some tips. Don't be... Don't be shy. Feel free to be generous, guys. Oh, comedy level three. Perfect. Okay, we're all ready for our gig, which is 12 o'clock tomorrow. Should we maybe go to Judith's house? Snoop through the mail. Still nothing to rummage in her bin. Hmm. Still no secrets. Judith, are you in your garden by any chance? No. Oh. Okay, we'll just hang around for a few hours until we start to get tired. <gasps> I just saw her in the window. I just saw her walking past like a spooky ghost. Oh shit, there she is! Okay, okay, um, attempt introduction, try and be cool. She walks over to me! Okay, ask for an autograph, and ask for a selfie. Oh no, she doesn't like us. Oh, Judith, don't be such a bitch. Give me an autograph, give me a selfie. Oh, she said no! We'll ask her for a- Oh, okay, she is gonna give me an autograph. Okay, hopefully she lets me take a picture of her as well. Okay, so she's gonna let me take a picture of her. Oh, Judith, you just, you just dazzle, girl. And you know it. Ask for selfie. I want to get a picture with Judith. Take a picture with me, Judith, okay? Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid, Judith. I just want to sniff your hair. We would treat you so well. We could make you so happy, Judith, if you'd only let us. Let me clean your house. Let's attempt introduction again. We might get it right this time. Yeah, no, once again, making a twat out of ourselves. Maybe attempt introduction again? Ask for a hug. We'll never wash oh, these clothes. Oh, she said no. She doesn't want to give me a hug. Judith, give me a hug. Fine, I'll get another autograph then. I think she's getting a bit pissy with me. I've been making you something, Judith. I've built a doll's house out of the toenail clippings we pulled out of your bin. Thought maybe you could use it as a table centerpiece or something. Okay, well, we've met Judith. Um, she won't... She won't let me introduce myself. Oh, I, I can attempt introduction one more time. Okay, third time's a charm. Come on now. Keep it cool. Keep it cool, Olivia. We're supposed to be a mastermind. Oh, fuck. We fucked it again. Screaming once again. She did say hello, though. I can ask her about her interests. That's one thing I can do now that I've introduced myself. Exclaim adoration and then compliment appearance and then when we go home I'll put all of my new treasures out on display. Okay, let's go home. We somewhat know Judith now. Hopefully we can send her a love letter, I hope. You will love me, Judith, if you know what's good for you. Alright, maybe we should just call it a night and get some sleep. Judith Ward, I'll put her, her autograph picture right there. Beautiful. I can fall asleep and wake up to that face. Maybe we'll put a red frame around our Judith Ward picture. Beautiful. We have three Judith pictures now. Our autograph one, the picture that we took, and then one that we bought from a gallery. We seriously need to start making some money. Maybe I'll sell some of the photographs I took. I don't really need all of them. The ones I actually want, I already have up here. What about, can I sell my earbuds? No. Ugh, okay. Why don't I, seeing as we already have, oh, can I write a love email? Oh, not to Judith Ward. Right, let's just write a book. Let's write a screenplay. Because at least that way we'll, we'll have some money coming in. Because we seriously need some money. Okay, let's go. Maybe we'll see our star there. I hope so. Okay, is Judith Ward here? Someone please tell me Judith Ward is coming to work today. Oh, you know what? I actually haven't been spending much money on food. Um, so I might just take some of this. There we go. Judith! Yoo-hoo! I don't think she's coming to work today. Maybe I have to be at a higher level to meet her at work. Oh no. Okay, fine. Let's just go through the motions. We'll quickly get into hair and makeup, get into costume, post on Simpsagram. We need to do well today anyway because I need the money. Oh, this is our co-star. Okay, we also need to get notes from the director. Um, get notes. 
Hopefully eating a hot dog will get rid of our uncomfortable, unbalanced meals mood buff. Okay, we're gonna go risky. I know we're uncomfortable, but to be honest, I don't really give a shit too much about this job. I'm not bothered about... We'll do it with the hot dog in our hands, even. I'm not really bothered about getting a promotion. The main thing I care about is that we make good money today. Risky treat patient. Only after you finish your hot dog, though, of course. And then show product. Okay, perfect. We got gold. Okay, okay. So Judith didn't show up to work today, but that's all right. We might see her another time. It is what it is. We can't blame her. We can't kill her. Wait, what? Did I say kill? I meant blame. 650 simoleons. Okay, perfect. Let's go home. Okay, so with all the food that I stole from set, I can probably just stick it all in the fridge, maybe keep it fresher for longer. Perfect. I do also have Judith's number, oh, although I can't do anything about it. I was going to maybe see if I could chat to her or something, but I guess not. Okay, let's just find another gig. Which one pays the most? Oh, this one, Salty Suds. We'll go Salty Suds. Okay, well, now that we've got a little bit of money, let's head to the salon. Actually, I did set an amount of, at 100 simoleons, but I don't know how much it costs. I don't have my extra venues um, mod installed, so right now it's just retail. So it might be that I either don't have to pay for it or there's a fixed amount. But let's see. Ask for hairstyle from Seji, sure. He, I think he's probably just going to give me a, a random hairstyle though, isn't he? I don't, he doesn't know what I want. Well, we'll see what he creates, and if it's not good, then I'll just go in, I'll just use my mirror to do it. Alright, well that was pretty pointless, thanks very much. Um, okay, let's just do our own hair, and then we'll charge the 100 simoleons like I originally planned. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go for some hair dye. Yeah, we will. Ah, oh, beautiful. I can't wait to see the look on Judith's face when she sees that we're sporting the same look. Perfect! Okay, let's go home. Take a shit, get some sleep. Maybe we'll finish that book, that screenplay. Yeah, still no option to write a love email to our one true love. Okay, sell the book and then we'll go back, we'll go to bed. We should at least get some money in royalties. Oh, one star celebrity. Okay, there we go. And we just got 155 simoleons for that. Right, let's go and have a quick meal. We already have the charisma we need, but I might just practice acting again just to try and increase our chances of passing our audition. Oh, we could maybe see if we could find an odd job. So I put that Judith's outfit is worth about three grand. So I would quite like to, um, I would quite like to maybe have enough money to pay for that. Okay, let's do this one. Lawn maintenance, 23 simoleons an hour, no recommended skills. Let's just do that. Okay, good luck with your odd job. I wonder if I can add Judith Ward on social bunny. I mean, I know I can't text her or call her, but... Oh, we got 72 simoleons, brilliant. But maybe there's like a glitch. There's always a glitch. Oh, no, there's no glitch. No. Oh. All right, well, let's go to Judith's house and see if we can maybe catch a glimpse of her, and then we'll see what we can do to make a bit more money. I wonder what she'll think of our new hairstyle. Our audition starts in one hour. Okay, that's fine. All right, will you go to the audition, and I'll just wait here, and I'll stake out Judith's house. Oh, or not. I guess not. <laughs> I guess we're automatically going to go home. Audition passed. Okay, great. The available lef leftovers don't match Olivia's food preferences. What are you talking about? Maybe this is the way the game's way of punishing me for not um for stealing the food. Ah, oh, bullshit, man. Okay, fine. Take a shower. When do we next have work? Sunday. I wonder if I can like perform acting for tips because then I might get some money in tips, but I might also build the entrepreneur skill, which would be really handy for making money. Practice acting, there we go. Level three of the acting skill. No tips yet though. Okay, so our entrepreneur skill seems to be going up for every tip that we get, but we're just not getting that many tips because we're a terrible, terrible singer. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go home. Maybe there's a book on entrepreneurs. Maybe I just need to write more books and then the finances will take care of themselves. I don't feel like I'm asking for much, you know. I just I just want to get to be like friends with Judith. Just friendship level. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Okay, we wrote our book. Sell to publisher. Maybe we'll try and bang out another book after that as well. Oh no, we've got writer's block. 
Okay, well, we don't have to perform until Sunday. I have to develop my charisma skill, apparently. Um, in that case, let's go to Judith's house and see if we bump into her. Can I take it? No, I can't take her with me. Oh, okay, fine. On the bright side, we've introduced ourselves to her three times, so if I get the chance to introduce myself again, it might go down a little bit better this time. I just need Judith to give me a chance, you know? I need her to take a risk on me. Right, go and eavesdrop, and then snoop through her mail. Come on out, Judith. Okay, there's a sim here that I can come and talk to. Oh, she's a celebrity, okay. Not seeing any movement in the windows this time. Okay, maybe we're not gonna see Judith today. I just saw her go upstairs. Can I see in her bedroom? Okay, I'm just gonna socialize with Eliza for a bit. I need to work on my charisma anyway, so I kind of feel like that might help if I do some charisma interactions. Okay, we have our audition in, not our audition, our gig in like one hour. All we have to do is just smash it. Maybe Judith will be there. Maybe not, but we'll see. But hopefully we can smash it and then we'll make some more money as well. Oh, she's admiring the autograph of Judith Ward. Oh, Olivia, that is so you. You need to start cleaning up after yourself. I'm sick of dragging your dirty plates into the sink. It's getting ridiculous. Okay, I'll join you and hopefully we'll get our royalty payment in an hour as well. So we might not be a million miles away from being able to dress like our inspiration. Okay, add to Instagram story. Is Judith in today? Who's that? <gasps> Judith Ward. Oh my God, there's Judith Ward. Okay, exclaim adoration. Ask about interests. Hurry up. Okay. I feel like we're being we're being a lot more chill about this this time. Compliment appearance. That's a compliment, isn't it? I don't have the option to try and uh, introduce myself again, though. Okay, let's go practice acting. How did we leave things off with Judith? Does she like us? No, still just acquaintances. I am going to get there, damn it. She is going to be my friend. She might not be my best friend, but she is going to be my friend. She just doesn't know it yet. Okay, let's practice acting, and then we'll introduce ourselves to the stylist. Okay, compliment outfit, and then we'll get to know you. My clothes stylist is evil, apparently. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're keeping our hair the same, I guess. Okay, cool. We're in costume. We just have to tell the director that we're ready. Although, actually, how long do we have? We've got until five o'clock. Can I squeeze in a few more interactions with Judith? Ask about interests. Judith, just let me add you to my phone book, man. Don't be so standoffish, you bitch. Okay, we'll just go tell the director we're ready to perform. And then we'll do risky turn wheel... I mean, we've got a few acting skills. We should be able to pull this off. We should be able to get gold. Go on, girl, you turn that wheel. Oh, we got gold, okay. So we probably will go home with over 2,000 simoleons. You know what I'm gonna do? I can see there's some pizza over there. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna grab some of that food. I'm just gonna grab a serving for myself. Perfect. That is what going on set is all about, getting free food. Oh, we got 750 simoleons, and I think we got promoted, yeah, to commercial spokesperson. Okay, great. You know what, thinking about it, I should have just stayed on set because then I could have spoken to Judith Ward. Is there an option for me to chat with her? Well, I suppose I kind of needed to see her outside of the studio anyway because it didn't give me the option to introduce myself. She's not home, which means she's probably still at Plum Bob Pictures, isn't she? Okay, I'm just gonna go to her house because then I'll be there when she goes home and she'll be really happy to see me. We'll just wait outside her house. She has to come home sometime. Where are you, Judith? Okay, I am just going to, oh wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just gonna start a break in. I'm gonna let it time out so that she confronts me and I'm gonna try and use that as an opportunity to become her friend. I'm just gonna go take a nap in her bed. And then I'm sure at some point she will come home and she might not be too happy, but it will at least give me a chance to try and explain. Try and win her over. How long do I have? Five minutes. Okay. Okay, there she is. She's turned up outside. Listen to Judith's demands. Um, no, no, we're just going to ask about interest. Oh, we're getting a bit hungry. Why don't we grab a serving from the food we stole from the studio? What if I reset her? Okay, so now we shouldn't have to listen to Judith's demands. Now I should just be able to talk to Judith and she's not annoyed at me for being in her home. There's not really an awful lot I can talk to her about though. 
other than like you know fangirling and asking her for autographs and things like that we're impressed by judith yeah of course we are yeah other than just asking about interest there's not really a lot i can do easier socialization with more famous sims Olivia will be able to form friendships with more famous sims and smooth talk her way from being acquaintances to friends. Okay, I'm going to take that perk and just see if that makes things a little bit easier. Maybe I can only, like, make friends with her if I have, like, a high fame myself. I mean, is there anything I can do that's, like, indirectly building a relationship with her? What if I play... <gasps> I can play chess with Judith Ward. Oh, okay, okay, this could work. Judith, get your ass down here. We're building a friendship. This has gone swimmingly. I've gone from breaking into her home to playing chess. Are we building a friendship? I don't know, I'm not seeing any pluses or anything. Wait, don't you get up and walk away. Sit back down, Judith Ward. We're bonding, whether you like it or not. I wonder if I can add her on social bunny yet. Probably not, huh? No. Huh. Oh, look at that. We're starting to get a romantic bar, even. Ask if Judith wants children. I'd like having children. Well, Judith, in that case... Oh, no, they're having an unpleasant conversation. Oh, shit, I can joke about facial hair? I have some more actions now. Discuss work. Okay, they are having an unpleasant conversation, but I do suddenly now have the option to do other interactions. So I think we might actually be breaking through this woman. Maybe it was from, like, bi building a romantic relationship. Maybe now. But now can I add her on social bunny? <gasps> yes, I can. Oh, Judith, you little slut. So she's, like... Is she my friend? Well, she's not a friend, but she's a romantic interest. Oh, my God, this is even better than what I'd hoped. I mean, we have already been in her bed, but she doesn't know that. Are we going to give her a rose? Well, who knew? I guess Judith Ward really does love herself. Oh, this is actually taking quite a turn. I thought we'd have to, you know, try and get there by force. But actually, Judith is into it. I mean, she was a bit hostile towards us when we didn't have the same hair as her. But I think now that she sees a bit of herself in us, she's more open to being romantic. Oh my god, they're going in for their very first kiss. We might be able to woohoo Judith Ward. We might not even to need to get the outfit. That's what I was sort of saving for, was the outfit. But actually, we're already having a steamy exchange. This last minute opportunity we took to break into her home actually ended up being the smartest decision we ever made. Showbiz kiss, maybe? I bet now we can finally write that love email to Judith Ward. Oh, she did not like the showbiz kiss. Oh, no. She didn't like that at all. Uh, hey, Judith, you mind if I use your John? Is Judith going upstairs? Oh, I think she's telling us where she wants to be. We are quite sleepy, but maybe we could try and get a bit of a... I don't know. Maybe we could get a sleepover out of this. I think it might be a bit too soon to ask her to be our girlfriend, but we probably can exchange numbers at this point. I think we switched numbers. You better kiss your phone. Don't just be like, oh, looking at it. Okay, yeah, she also has a positive reaction. Good, good. That's what I thought you said, Judith Ward. Shall we go and woohoo? It could be too soon for a woohoo. I mean, we're only having a casual discussion, so she might be like, no. Holy shit, I think we're going to go woohoo. Well, this was a turn up for the books. I didn't think we'd get this far. My goal was to maybe, tr oh yeah, maybe try and hide that t-shirt. That might freak her out a little bit. My goal was to try and become friends. But uh, Judith had different ideas. Judith, you saucy minx. Well, I think we're going to stay here tonight. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. I might do another video, not with Judith Ward, because she's obviously quite open to stalking. and She's quite stalkable. But I would like to maybe try and do this again with my Life Tragedies mod installed so that we can actually kidnap a sim. So what you could do is you could let me know in the comments which celebrity, probably best if it is a celebrity I would have thought, let me know in the comments which celebrity you would like us to stalk, well kidnap and stalk, for uh, I guess the next time I try this. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you 
in the next video. Bye-bye.